Hey everybody, uh, I had a question come in about the algebra content for this week and while I have you on the video I thought I'd couple, cover a couple of things uh, in the same video. So first off, uh, if you go to the content area uh, and then you're in your schedule, I just want to point out something about the schedule. You'll see that there's weeks in here where it says algebra lesson, so I have those labeled separately. Um, if it doesn't say algebra lesson in front of it, uh, then it's related to, to statistics content, which is in the regular sections of your book. So in week two, there's algebra lessons one, two, and three. You can see those here. And then there's also, oops, and then there's also the sections that are out of chapter three. Um, so that's a lot of material for this week. So please get started as soon as you can. But again, there's, there's the statistics content, which is chapter three. And then there's the algebra lessons, which are algebra lessons one, two, and three. And then you see like next week, I have four, five, and six, and then later 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, and then there's one more down here, eight and nine. The reason I labeled it that way is because the way that your hard copy of the book from the bookstore labels those, or at least they have in the past, is they don't label the same way that they're in the virtual copy of the book. So I just named it algebra lesson one, two, and three. That should correspond with your homework, if it will come up. Right, I have those labeled with the same numbers. And I also put the titles here so you can correspond those uh, with the sections out of the book. Uh, I know that's confusing, but I didn't know of another way to really do that. If you're looking for that content while you're in the My, My Stat Lab, if you go to Chapter Contents on the left-hand side and scroll down, You'll see additional after Appendix B, there's these additional topics. And this is what I mean by how they labeled it differently from the hard copy of the book to the virtual copy. So if you click in Chapter uh, 13 and then go to 13.5, you'll see uh, ratios percents, multiplying, dividing real numbers, and then you'll see the order of operations. So uh, they, I have them going pretty much in the order that they go in the virtual copy of the book. So when you go to the homework, and you go to the first homework section, order of operations and combining like terms, it should be the first thing that's in the chapter contents. So when you go scroll down, chapter 13, you've got order of operations, uh, and then you know from there, the subsequent chapters will go into other things. Uh, and so they, they should correspond line up, but again, I, I put both um, the, just the number to correspond with the way I have it in the calendar and then the title of the section so you can match that up in the chapter contents uh, that are in in the the my stat lab so you can click through those There's not that many um, again keep in mind when you're working on the algebra that it is not going to be tested on any of your exams so you'll only have homework on it uh, so it's more of a kind of a review thing so when you get to test one the algebra content will not be on there um, so I hope that's clear. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out is that it's week two. You'll notice that it's green on your calendar. Uh, that means that it's a discussion week. So remember, we have discussion weeks every even numbered week. So weeks two, week four, week six, so on and so forth. To find those, we'll go to the communications tab, go to discussions, and then it will be located right under the ask questions here. So you'll see this starting September 1st, which that's wrong. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm looking at that. I'll fix that date. That should stay uh, January 26, which is today. So I'll fix that here in just a second. Um, what I'm expecting in the discussion is that you just really share your thoughts. So again, do not think that I am looking for correct answers. That's not what this discussion is about. I'm really just looking in you engaging in conversation about the topic. So don't feel threatened about saying, you know, whatever you say. I'm sure we're going to say some things that are wrong and that's actually where we can actually grow right that's where the interesting things are going to happen so get your ideas out there and and share those uh, and then I again want you participating throughout the week uh, exchanging ideas with each other I'll be posting in there your classmates will hopefully be posting and so we'll we'll just go back and forth with conversations if you have any questions or anything again don't hesitate to ask um, I hope that answers some of your questions. Again, if you have any other ones, just let me know.